Hello guys and welcome back to a new let's play of I must I know it's supposed to be Professor Layton, but here it says L Layton, so I know it's Lady Layton's mystery journey. Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy Deluxe Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Gotta say, I'm like kinda looking forward to this. Just let me see something. I'm gonna put the music a teensy little bit below the voice. No, no. Yeah, like this. Just so it's a bit easier for us to hear the voices of those characters. Yeah. Manual. Controls. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll figure this out as well. And. Let's go, guys. Oh, wait. Uh, mm. I wonder what. The oh, it's eight. Okay, PWW. Nope. Yeah, PWW player will win. Let's go with that. The storm cactus in this game are entirely fictional, and I couldn't read the rest. Uh... Are there subtitles in this game? Daddy? There are. I'm loving the song. Dear Lucy, I've opened a detective agency on one of London's most happening streets. Any mystery solved, that's the Leighton Detective Agency's motto. I can't wait to find out what mysteries are waiting for me. You must come and visit me if you have the time. Yours faithfully, Catriel. Prologue, Lady and a Tramp. Eh, makes sense. 
Kind of. Because you see, Lady and the Tramp is a old... Well, it's not technically a Disney movie, but yeah. Phew. There, all done. Hey, you there! <laughs> said that? Was it you? Can you really solve any mystery? Oh, a talking dog. You're not surprised? It's only talking. Only talking? Is it true? Huh? I want some proof. Can you really solve any mystery? Seeing you hang that sign gives me an idea. Hmm, let's see you try your paw at this puzzle. Ah, the first puzzle of the game. This puzzle is worth 20 picrats. Okay, let's go. The letter K has fallen down from the sign above the cake shop. Use the three triangles to make the letter K inside the box. I think I know what I'm supposed to do here, but let's see. Place the hand over a triangle using the left stick. Pick up the triangle by holding down A. And once you grabbed it, you can move it around with the left stick. Or rotate it with L and R. Press A to place the triangle in position. When the case formed, the, the success message will display automatically. Place the triangles carefully. Okay. Oh, I can just press A to... Close enough, I guess. Yeah, because I can also just press save, but I can also hold it like this and... okay. Technically speaking, this is a kind of... no, it... Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm already stumped by the first puzzle. This is gonna end up going well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll cut until I figure this one out, just hold on a second, guys. I'm an idiot. Correct! Should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. Yeah, the fact that it took me this long to I can figure out the first puzzle. We're gonna we're in for a long ride, aren't we? Oh god. You did it! The sign is fixed and the shop is now is open again. Mm. Care for a cake, anyone? Picarats are both a commodity you earn by completing puzzles and a measure of puzzle difficulty. The higher a puzzle's picarat value is, the harder the puzzle will be. Each time you get a puzzle wrong, the available picarats diminish. So think carefully before you answer. Okay. The special end of game save includes some bonuses, among which you'll find a top secret file. The more picarats you've amassed while playing the game, the more earth-shattering the revelations you'll find inside it. Puzzle 1. Care for Cake has been added to the puzzle index. <laughs> Alright, you seem to be up to scratch. Thank you. Why don't you step inside? <laughs> What can I do for you? Look at me. It's obvious. What? I'm a talking dog. Yes, I can see that, and... And? <sighs> All right then, and I have total amnesia. Ah, a dog with amnesia. If I could just remember my parents, it might make more sense. I feel like I'm me, but not really me. I don't even know if I'm pedigree. Is that all? No, that's not all. I want you to find out who I really am. Oh, uh, hmm, I don't know. Oh, come on. I'm a talking dog. Got anything else? A diabolical box that kills you? A letter from the future? A relic from an ancient civilization? Nothing like that? Nothing. 
this is my first inquiry, perhaps it's fate. All right then, any clues? Well, not everyone can hear me talking. Some can, some can't. It's very rare to find someone who can, actually. <gasps> that, that dog, it just spoke. Ooh. And here's another rare someone who can hear you talk. Who's this? Apparently, he's my assistant. I told him I don't need help, but he won't listen. Overly dogged. No one wants that. What's all this about, Miss Layton? This talking dog wants me to solve the mystery of who he is and where he comes from. So, we've had our first inquiry. Incredible, Miss. Such a fascinating case from day one. Your reputation obviously precedes you. So, I don't believe you told me your name. Ernest. Ernest Greaves, Miss. Um. <sighs> this is a more. That's just what he's like. I see. Um, have. Have I said something wrong? Uh, anyway... I... I can't even remember my own name. Hmm. Well, do you remember anything else at all? I've got a vague memory of a tower or something falling down, and then lightning flashing across the sky. That's it? Oh, goodness, golly, not much to go on, is it? Who asked you? <sighs> It certainly isn't. I've no other cases at the moment, so why not? I'll do what I can. You will? Well, that's great! Oh, but I must insist on my fee, even for man's best friend. Oh, I'm not poor. Well, here's the paperwork then. Now, you'll need a name. How about Sherl? Sherl? You said you can't remember your name. So, I've thought of one for you with inspiration from the famous Sherlock Holmes. It really suits you. Oh, that's splendid, sir. Being named after such a prestigious figure, I mean. Like I said, who asked you, anyway? Look. Here. Sherl O.C. Combs. Sherl is a great name. Sure, girl. Don't yap, Sherl. <clears throat> Stop calling me that. Surely there's no need to get angry. Cat, are you in? Ah. Inspector Hastings. Sure, let's see. Now, before I continue this, I kind of know who Catriel is, kind of. Because there was an anime going on with her that I only watched a bit of it, and that's about it. Never got him too far. But uh, I think this is pretty much where she came from. And I do know she's Professor Layton's kid. Which uh, begs the question, who the heck is Mrs. Layton? Lady in the Tramp. Oh, now we don't have voice acting and everyone's a 3D model and they're just like Cheryl's 3D model. Oh my god, it's so squishy. I love it, so chibi. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a British voice accent, okay? Inspector Hastings, whatever is the matter, you look positively beside yourself. You won't believe what's happened. Who is this loud mouth, long nose ner nerk? He's got me. Got, he's got more color than me. This is Inspector, Inspector Hastings, show from Scotland Yard. Despite appearances, I responsible responsible for ensuring London safety. What's that mutt, What's that mutt doing here? Don't tell me you've gone and bought yourself a pet cat. A pet? A pet? Do I look like a pet? Don't answer that. Ah, it's, it's looks as though Inspector Hastings can't understand what you're saying, Cheryl. Of course he can't. Like I said, it's an exclusive club. Most people just hear roofs and barks. And yet, in a struggle of those present here, two of the three are in, are in the club. Very exclusive. I can't help if the super snitch here isn't one of the enlightened ones. What are you muttering about, cat? Sorry, Inspector. To answer your question, no, Cheryl here isn't a pet. Rather, he's my very first client. The first I've sent on a dollar line and enlist, enlist my services. Well, strictly speaking, Miss, he can't sign anything, of course. He's digitally impaired. <laughs> 
An excellent observation, Ernest. Let, re let me rephrase that then. The first half is pop print on my paperwork. Uh, is this some kind of window? Well, anyway, we haven't got time to discuss pet, discussing pets. I've got a case I need you, cat, and I need you, need you on it right now. How intriguing! Why the urgency? And why do you need me in particular, Inspector? Because we all know you're the best. You've proven that when you helped me out in the past. Man, man this guy is British actions. I won't say strong, but weird, because... Again, he's sometimes skipping letters, and I'm not used to, to, not used to that. Jesus, I stirred so much. With your little gray cells in, on the case, you'll have it solved in no time. I think. I hope. Well, probably. This guy's a bit of a downer, I kinda like it. His confidence in you is inspiring, cat. <laughs> Don't you worry, Inspector. There's not a case in the world Miss Layton couldn't crack. Any mystery soul. That's the Layton Detective Agency motto, you know. Well, let's hope you can put your money where your mouth is, because we need all the help we can get on this one. Perhaps it's time you told us what, he, what has actually happened, Inspector. Well, it's hard to believe you, to be honest. I mean, you never expect something like that to get nicked. To get nicked? Something's been stolen? Stolen? A burglary case, is it? All sorts, yeah, but not your average run of the mill burglary. This affects everyone in London. And the all of Britain. Eh? Gosh, really? Whatever could be so important? I think you better just come to the scene, then I'll explain everything. That sounds like a very good idea. Lead the way. Hello, isn't there a little matter we're forgetting here? What about figuring out my, out my true identity? Oh yes, yeah, so well, the trouble is... This case just sounds a little more interesting. <laughs> uh, interesting? You decided the case to, to investigate based on how interesting they are, do you? Exactly. I'm glad you understand. Well, pardon me for only being a talking dog. I really, mu I really must try harder to be more interesting. Oh no, Shirley. Don't be like that. Your case is important to us, but you're experiencing a high volume of inquiries at present. And you had one inquiry. One! <laughs> Never mind. Clearly the inspector here has, has an inquiry on a twist about something. Let's see. Let him jump to the queue if he has to. Good. That, that's that settled. What the? Good. That's that settled then. Oh, okay, okay. Now let's get to the scene and start investigating. Where are we going, Inspector? Just down the road, as it happens. To Big Ben. Big Ben? The Elizabeth Tower, I presume? Not Burling Benjamin, who lives a few doors down, surely. 